Hey, we are here with the Columbus Lions. I'm Maggie Reese. We are introducing a brand new series this year to the Columbus Lions social media's FaceTime with the Lions, where you're going to get to know your favorite football players a little more in depth. And we're going to start this season with none other than Greg Hall. How you doing? So I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Good. Greg, tell me, last year was a little bit of a tumultuous season for you. You obviously got injured right. halfway through the season. Take us back, though, to football growing up. You are from where? From Athens, Georgia. Athens, Georgia. When did you mm -hmm. start playing football? I uh, started organized sports. I started in third grade. Okay. You know, I had played my whole life, but actually being on the team. Pee Wee's third grade. Yeah. Were you yeah. always on the defensive side of the ball? Played both sides. Both sides. But I was chunky, so I played offensive <laughs> line a lot. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, so high school, where'd you go to high school? North Oak County High School. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then you decided as an Athens guy to go to Auburn. Well, originally I went to Appalachian State. Okay. And I was actually going to transfer to UGA, and Auburn just happened to work out better. So it was where I needed to be. All right, and you are very well educated. I've heard on the street that you have your master's degree. I do, I do. In what? Uh, adult education. Okay, so obviously playing some arena football right now. What mm -hmm. do you want to do 10 years from now? I would love to be in sports regardless, so either coaching, uh, personal training, or being an athletic director, that's my end goal. Very cool. So a lot of people don't know this about the Lions players, but they don't work full-time football players. They also have jobs on the side. What do you do on the side? I'm an elementary para pro at Allen Elementary School here in Muskogee County. Very cool. I saw a picture recently of you um, carrying a Grinch. So. I did. I meet, met the Grinch. You met the you Grinch. Know, awesome that? guy. Awesome guy. Really, really cool. awesome yeah. guy. Good. Still <laughs> Christmas this year, so that's really good right. to know. Um, and also, you implemented a new program this year, Hoodies for Homeless. What yes. kind of did, made you want to do that? Uh, it was one of those things, um, went home for a weekend, just kind of went through all my winter clothes, realized, especially with being on sports teams, you get so many sweatsuits mm -hmm. and stuff. I just had a bunch of stuff I never wore. So I was like, why don't I, I donate it? Then I was thinking more specifically the people I could give to and thinking of all the homeless people who are in Columbus, because I feel like we have a pretty big community and with the shelters, we have the men's and the women's and children's shelter. I wanted to directly give. You know, and then on top of that, get my name in the community and help right. with the Lions name. So. Very cool. So what was the end result? How many hoodies? Jeez. I didn't count, <laughs> but <laughs> I think it came up to be at least close to 80 to 100. Wow. And it was just between regular jackets, you know. I had a bunch of people send me just old clothes they had, so it turned into a much bigger thing. Yeah. I think the hoodies for homeless just kind of rolled out the tongue a little better. Right, so right. I like Everybody that. Everybody loves a catchphrase. So <laughs> right, exactly right. Well. So coming up this season, you are rehabbing an injury. Give us the update on that. Uh, I'm fully healthy now, you know, just getting stronger, getting ready for the season. I'm ready for it to happen. What are you most looking forward to for this year? Uh, I look forward to playing in new places. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Orlando and New York and new teams in the league. So I look forward to going out there. New York, Madison Square Garden, right? Yeah, That's hopefully. That's awesome. <laughs> Did you ever think that you'd be playing in Madison Square Garden when Never you were a football Never in my player? life. Never in my <laughs> life. I mean, that, it's crazy to think about, but it would be awesome. Yeah, so if I'm someone who has maybe lived in Columbus my whole life and has never been to an arena football game, what's the number one reason to come out? It's just fun because we can interact with the fans, you know, it's a lot more in college. You're so far away from everybody mm -hmm. right here. Like I can throw a guy over the wall and it's, it's nothing <laughs> like and then we throw balls out there. We have sometimes we just run out into the stands in between quarters and it's just it's an awesome experience. And then after the game, you know, everybody comes down, hangs out with the players for a little bit. So I enjoy that part. It's more face to face. Yeah, super interactive. Right. All right. So this is a huge weekend for college football, and as a former yes. college football player, I want to know your picks for this weekend. So we'll start first with what Brian Kelly has said is the real national championship game: mm -hmm. Notre Dame and Clemson. Who are you taking? No, no. that's Clemson all the way. Clemson it's all too the way. easy. Too easy. All right. All right. So then you've got the nighttime game: Alabama and Oklahoma. Who's it going to be? See, and this has nothing to do with me being an Auburn guy. <laughs> But I like Kyler Murray. I like to see really? what he can do. I think he can put it on Alabama. So you thought the Heisman was right? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. You heard it there first. So we're going to say Oklahoma and Clemson in the national championship. That's it. All right. You heard it here first, guys. Stay tuned for more FaceTime with the Lions. I'm Matt Uris. This is Greg Hall. We'll see you in 2019.